Hey, hello everyone. It is a beautiful day here in central Wisconsin, I'll tell you. It is uh, April 13th, Saturday. I am, uh, me and my cutie, my sweetie, and the two dogs, Sissy and Pixie, are up for the weekend. We were planning on doing some uh, brush removal from the trees I cut up. It's been about a month since I've been up here, and uh, we wanted to clean up. If you remember my last episode, I did all that tree removal. We had a bunch of trees down, like 21 total. And uh, we were going to load all the tops up in moxie and take them to the dump, because we've got a lot of brush piles here already. But uh, we came to a little surprise. We were not expecting this on uh, April 13th, but we've got a crap load of snow. It's funny, I was just texting my buddy Blair from the Wild North of Netley, a channel that I highly recommend too, by the way. Just texted him the other day, he just sent me a photo of his snow that they'd gotten up in uh, Winnipeg. And I jokingly texted back, oh, I was just golfing last Sunday and we're done with snow. But I was wrong. Uh, it is, it's sticky, it's probably a good eight inches here. I had to put the truck in four wheel drive, it was a kind of a messy little ride, so. I shouldn't have spoke so soon, because I don't know how much work we're going to get done here now this weekend. One, I wanted to use Moxie, he's just a two wheel drive with not the best tires on him, so I don't think we can get him down the road. Here's some of my tracks from when I pulled in. Some pretty good snow up here, I tell you. There's a shot of Sue and the dogs. They're going for dog walk. She's got about a mile down the road that she likes to go and then turn around. Those girls love it up here, and so do I. So, uh... I'm going to unload the truck, and uh, I don't know what kind of chores I'm going to get done this weekend. I was going to watch the Masters on DVR this evening, but there's a pretty good chance I might just sit on the couch this afternoon and check them out. Uh, so my guy in the Masters is Ricky Fowler. Last I heard, he was making a run at 5 under, so we'll see. Gonna head on over to the garage and see how she's doing. We'll see you over there. Now we have before I head on over to the garage, I think I'll do a little unpacking here. There, here we go. Got the place lit up. Got the furnaces going. What do we got in here today? Easy. Yeah, when I started well, about 10 minutes ago, it was about 34 degrees, and we are up to about 42 now, so she's heating up quick. Sue's going to like that. Uh, got some unloading here to do, bring some boxes in. But since I'm not going to do too much lumberjacking today, I'm going to see if there's anything in here that I left, might have left behind. I can maybe have a little refreshment. Oh my god. What do we have here? Looks like I'm good to go for a while. Nice. Nothing like a nice ice cold hams when you're at the cabin. Time to unpack. Well, I just got over to the garage and opened her up. Everything wintered really well. Moxie covered up over here, and that's where he's going to stay. This, you know, the snow is so so deep. It's probably eight inches, but it's really, it's like 30, you know, mid 30s. The snow is real sandy. You know, it's melting, and that makes for really poor traction. And that truck doesn't have the best tires, anyway. Just two wheel drive, so 
I'm not even going to try to fire Moxie today because I don't know when I'm going to get them out. So, but I just let them rest. I don't mess with them. I was hoping to get the boat out next weekend. We shall see. We're supposed to get a couple days in the mid 50s to uh, 60s next week. So, you know, you get some days like that and the snow will go quick. I'm still waiting for Sue and the girls to get back. Here's a driveway from Moxie. Maybe you can see the gate a little bit there. Yeah, the snow will go quick, so um, I am coming up next Thursday night. Uh, I might have my brother-in-law Dan with me. Uh, I wanted to get the Lund out, try for some walleyes out on the river. Yeah, if that doesn't happen, you could always get the waders out and fish from shore. Or I don't know. Maybe go golfing. I think we might, and I know it's hard, it's weird to say this, but maybe have some golf up here next weekend. They were supposed to already be open. This is messing up everybody. They call this the bomb cyclone weather pattern. And we have got two or three of these under our belt. It's not even winter anymore. I do believe it's spring now. It's April 13th. Not exactly sure when the first day of spring officially is. It can't be too far away. If maybe it's already past us. Should have. Anyway, everything wintered well. Moxie's sitting good. I wanted to show you. I've, I do use one of these mouse traps. I got this on Amazon this year. I always was curious about them. These little spinner guys. I just emptied it. I had five mice in it. What I do is I put some windshield antifreeze in it so it doesn't freeze up. And then I simply just put an axe handle running from the ground up to the side of this. I load it with some peanut butter and uh, it spins and uh, spins those guys right into the drink. Got five of them. And uh, so far what I could tell there's not much sign of mice in here. You know of course they're present. Can't keep them out. When you're out in the woods and it gets cold, they come and they try to seek some shelter. It's natural. But uh, I don't need them to get in the boat. Don't need them to choose, chew up wires on the four wheelers. I got a tractor back there. Got old Moxie. We don't need trouble. But uh, I am extremely happy with the garage, I tell you may take some advice that I got from a friend to put a wood burner in here. That may happen. It's just, you know, I've always lived in old houses. Houses built in the 50s and whatnot for my hometown. And I've always had one car attached garages. So this is, you see, I'm 56 years old. This is the best garage I've ever had. I love it. And I, we just installed this in October last year. I'm going to have a good time this summer out here. Looking forward to it. Again, still got some cleanup from that storm. I'll get to it. Fair amount of trees down over here. I'm going to head out to the road. I think Sue and the girls might be coming soon. I don't know if you can see it, we've got quite a bit of water in the woods. This is the wettest I've seen it up here for a while. I may put the boots on and head back into our place and see what it looks like. Quite a bit of water. There's Sue and the girls. Here comes Pixie. Pixie! Pixie, come! Sorry about that. Here she comes. Good girl! This is my chocolate lab. This is Pixie. She's a she's gonna be a 12 year old in June. She's still got a lot of spunk. Hi Pixie! Hi Pixie! Good girl! Oh ho, ho, ho. that's a good girl! Good hustle! Good! Okay you take it easy now. 
Good girl, dish dog. Good girl. Good girl, Pixie. Here comes her sister. You've seen Sissy in some videos before. This is our blue tick coon hound. Sorry, you can't go, Sissy. You think she would? Can we trust her? Should we try it? Come here, sissy. We're gonna try it. Come here, sissy. Good girl. Oh, are you tired out? Oh my God, you're tired out. Good girl, come here. Good girl. Oh my God, you're tired out. Good girl. Usually we don't let her free because she's gonna be a stinker. Hound dogs can run. Her leash broke. Uh oh. She was free about a mile away. Uh oh. See how I I uh yeah, rigged it? I see it. Yeah. Nice rig. Yeah, she Okay. Oh. I got the, the stitches came out. Hey sissy. Good job. Way to go. <laughs> don't get used to it though. Yeah. <laughs> getting some footage here of some of the flooding. This has been the spring of surprises up here by the cabin. I expected to see this a month ago. But it is almost up to the road. Our road is almost underwater. Thanks. Thanks for the reminder. We got the four wheel drive engaged. April 13th, meeting for ah. Look at this here. That's not supposed to be a lake. That's not a bass pond. Look at all that water. And if we have a rapid thaw here, we're gonna this water is gonna be over our road. Look at it flowing in the ditch there. That's not usually a stream. Got some deep ruts. <laughs> we are cruising. Sissy, what do you think? There's, what do you girls think? Should I get two hands on the wheel? Yeah, I think you should. All right. Look at the water in the woods over there. Wow. It's our woods, isn't it? Our woods is here at the pipe. Oh. See the pipe there? Yeah. All right, two hands on the wheel. Okay, we just got back from our favorite pizza joint. And I beat you. It's the unofficial sponsor of the Mark Pro channel for pizza, the Piedmont Pub. Now Sue and I have a tradition playing darts, the champion for the week. Right now we are one and one. We are tied. Tomorrow will be the rubber match. Okay, now we've got a couple pies here. Honey, why don't you tell me about your pie first? What do you got on there? Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Onions and green olives. Okay. Jalapeno, onion, green olive. This, this is obviously a vegetarian pizza. Very nice. Okay, now this one is not a vegetarian pizza. This has sausage, pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, and jalapenos. That's one thing we love about the pub. They have jalapenos on their pizza. Now, we've got a, a, a movie that we're going to be watching while we eat that won, oh, they won some awards at the Oscars. Sorry about that. It's called The Green Book. So we're going to check that out while we're chowing down. And we are going to, uh, what kind of wine is this? It's a uh, criminal. It's a criminal, some kind of a red table wine. Here's the bottle for that. It's pretty cool. It's Shiraz. It's a Shiraz. 
Is that Australian with the straws? Mm -hmm. That means it's from Australia. I don't know why it's And there's a label. It's kind of cool. 19 Crimes. Another unofficial sponsor. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, we're going to get down, we're going to chow, we're going to watch a movie. After I put Sue and the girls to bed, I'm going to watch The Masters by CBS Sports. So, uh, take care. We'll probably see you next in the morning. Peace out. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning up here in central Wisconsin. A little breezy, but it's okay. We need the snow to melt, though. We want to golf. Anyway, the boss has informed me that we are going to move this brush pile today. We are going to load it up into the truck and take her to the dump. So, uh, before we can do that, we are going to uh, take the lid off of here, put a liner in it, and load it up. Yeah, we knocked that down to about half the size. And there's load number one. <sighs> load one is over. Empty bed. There's the results. Okay, we are at load two. We're not going to go quite as high as load one because we had some issues. Dropped a couple on the highway. I had to stop and get them off the highway. But as you can see, our pile's dwindling. So we are going to get rid of this here load, go have some lunch, and then take the girls to dog park. That's our plan, and then we may finish up. Last load. That brush pile was larger than we thought, but it's in there. Look at my baby with her boots on. You could leave those on sometime, honey. Those are some boots there, boy. Look at those things. That's a sexy look. Third and final load. Next stop dog park for the girls. Okay, we were at dog park. We're going to take a lap or two around here and then we are going to call it good. So, uh, we've had a great weekend. Did a little bit of everything. Might come up next weekend. I wanted to golf, but as you can see, that's not going to happen. So, uh, on behalf of my honey Sue, Pixie, and the hound dog, Sister Bear. Hey, Sissy. Hey. Come on, Pixie. On behalf of the four of us, we'd like to thank you for watching. After dog park, I'm going to go see what happened in the Masters when I had left before all these activities. Molinari was on. Molinari, whatever. Francesco was in the lead. So we'll see who wins it. We were having lunch. I was doing my best not to listen, but the crowd was going wild. I have a feeling Tiger might have made a, a run at it. So uh, again, we're going to sign off here. May come up next weekend. I'm hoping if I do, the snow is gone. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.